Hey guys, Evan Laux here for Engine Builder Magazine. We're at the 2023 Ultimate Callout Challenge. And behind me is this really sweet looking 7.3 Power Stroke engine, and it's your Diesel of the Week. Engine Builder's Diesel of the Week is sponsored by Amsoil, the first in synthetics. So guys, we're here with Corey of CNC Fabrication Diesel Performance. And Corey, we were talking before we got on camera here that this engine and this truck combo, you were talking about a Dave Chappelle sketch we probably shouldn't get into on video. <laughs> probably <but> not. <laughs> it's kind of a weird uh, blasphemous combo, some people yes. might say. Yep. I mean, somebody, there's one guy that did a 6.0 into a second gen but there's been a few people to talk about you know um doing a 7.3 but it's never been done so now it has yeah and this is actually the first 7.3 we've seen to, uh this weekend at ucc that we've uh, shot a video on how'd you guys decide on a 7.3 for this truck well 7.3 is mainly where we got started um i started out welding and fabbing and i bought a 7.3 as a service truck and then it just spurned from there and now we're into manufacturing building performance engines we do them all but kind of our niche is the 7.3 and um, a lot of people still love them and the old stuff you know it's pretty fun to build and just cool doing the older trucks yeah it's definitely an interesting engine platform and you know before we deep dive into the engine for people who don't know about cnc fabrication tell us a little bit about your business what uh you know components you guys are manufacturing so we do our own um, 7.3 injectors. We've been doing that for about a couple years now. Uh, high pressure oil pumps for the 6.0 and 7.3 platform. Fuel systems for the fuel line kits. So basically everything from the fuel to supplier injectors, the oil side to supply the injectors, and pretty much all of that. So we have an engine machine shop too. So we do all of our engine machining in-house. Um, a lot of manufacturing. We High pressure oil lines, we sell thousands, tens of thousands of those. So that's really what spurns most of our our drive or whatever to help with more R&D projects and whatnot, stuff like this. Um, dual H-pop, this is actually a prototype, first one that we've done. So, so far it's worked pretty good. And I think you told me this is the first year you're running this truck, correct? This yes. is kind of a new build. Yeah, so honestly this, this engine just fired up yesterday afternoon. Um, and got it on the trailer and came down here. But it's we're pretty happy with it. It's got a full, one of our uh, 41, 4140 pre-hard tool steel bed plates, Carrillo rods, 450, 400 injectors, a really huge cam that was in our pull truck before. So it'll be interesting getting that dialed in. Yeah, what's the you know horsepower numbers on this engine? I don't know if you've had a dyno. Not yet. Um, I'm hoping we should be able to expect to see eight, 900 pretty easy on fuel once we get it dialed in. Okay. Um, we're hoping to maybe break that thousand horsepower mark, which is really hard to do and nobody's been done. As far as I know, I don't think anybody's done it on record with a 7.3. Mm -hmm. They're known for their, you know, airflow issues and what life, that whatnot. But right. nitrous, obviously, it's pretty easy to get well north of a thousand. Yep. I know you said you guys aren't doing any, uh, you know, really high horsepower, you know, performance work, but has there been any, you know, machining work on the bottom end of this engine? Yeah, so it's, it can take between 20 to maybe 40 hours to properly fit the bed plate because we custom machine that. So we leave a lot of material so we can go and cut the lines, line cut, bore it, mm -hmm. get it to spec and then finish it out on honing. And being that it's cast block, tool steel bed plate, your line bore wants to deflect down and not cut straight. So you gotta be really careful when you're running your hone to where it doesn't deflect and you get your crank will bend and have all kinds of wonderful issues. Right, and I don't think you mentioned the turbo setup here. What kind of turbos are we running? What size? So this is a Hartz Turbo X275. It's uh, 123 AR T6. Um, I believe it's, I think the same charger that Ryan Milliken is running in his Nova in the, the street outlaw. So we'll see, they said it's a pretty good fitment and Hartz has got a really good name on building turbos. So that's what we went with. Yeah, definitely. And what about the fuel setup? So the fuel setup is all ours, CNC fab. It's a valley mount four line feed with a fuel, fuel lab prodigy pump back in the rear. Um, 
instead of just feeding two like a lot of Huey and setups are at and then two out the front of the heads we feed all four corners to keep everything nice and uh, even pressurized mm -hmm. and then um, so you're not dropping pressure across the heads a little bit right perfect well Corey is there anything else on the engine side here that we didn't cover anything to hit on um, valve train is we put a set of Harlan Sharp um, it's solid solid valve train so we got the adjustment there um, it's hypermax fire or uh, o-rings or fire rings and um, d-lip pistons the bulls cut out pretty good but it starts pretty decent it's not an ether queen like some of them you know it's the compressions up there enough that it's not it, you don't need three cans like on the tractors to get it warmed up right and Corey I think I forgot to ask you what uh, index class are you running in this weekend um, we're not gonna race we're not quite ready there but the goal for the truck is to probably start out in the 6-7 class okay. and then we'll see how it goes and maybe get into the 5-9 class and that's a pretty competitive there's a lot of trucks that show up in those two classes and be fun to you know a good size group and be competitive in it yeah definitely well we wish you good luck whenever that time comes and Corey, right. thanks again for telling us about this really thanks. cool seven three power stroke engine uh guys make sure you're checking out cnc fabrication diesel performance looking at some of their products they're putting out and follow engine builder mag for more really great diesel content thanks right. for watching guys